family of God, I greet you all in the sweet and awesome name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This morning, I welcome all the families of Shekinah and all other families that's joining us in our morning service. May you all have a blessed time in the presence of our awesome God. This morning, my reading is taken from the book of Ruth, chapter 1, reading from verse 14 to 17. Then they lifted up their voices and wept again. And Oprah kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her God. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave or turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will bury. The, the Lord do so to me more and also, if anyone but death parts you and I. Shall we bow for prayer this morning? Loving God and Heavenly Father, you this morning how to the sweet name of Jesus we thank you dear God that we could gather in your presence because in your presence there is fullness of joy God we just ask you to lead guide and direct our service this morning you are the God of grace mercy and peace Lord I bring our praise and worship team before you this morning I pray that you bless them as they lead us to the throne room of heaven. I bring our word before you this morning, my God. I pray that it will be sharper than any two-edged sword and that it will fall on fertile ground. I pray that your word will give us wisdom, knowledge and understanding and it will bless, be blessed into our hearts. I pray for our dear pastor this morning as he brings forth your word. I pray, Lord, that you will bless him. I pray that your sweet your sweet smell will be upon us this day as we further tarry in Jesus name welcome once more to our morning service as we've come to the end of August also the end of women's month I would like to wish all the women of Shekinah and all other women joining us this morning a very happy and blessed women's month women remember that you are and picked and chosen by God for a plan and a purpose as women, we play a major role in our families, our community, and the world. Therefore, women, we must always stand strong on the word of God and on the promises of God. Let prayer become part of our daily life, and we must trust God and put God first in everything that we do. Women's month should not only be celebrated during the month of August, but all but throughout the year because we women are God's masterpiece. This morning I would like to hand you over to our praise and worship team. Good morning church. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to Church Online. Pray that even as we worship that you will join us and just sing with us and praise our God. I don't know about you but he's been so good and we have every right to just worship Him and praise Him. So enjoy from wherever you are, and let's give Jesus all praise.
closer For every doubt that comes I'm strong He is stronger For every battle that we face He has conquered Yeah. 
this broken heart that lies my way until my time on earth is done. Oh, Holy Spirit, within me, like kingdom come. Oh, oh, Holy Spirit, let your word. Oh, 
and even as we ask all of this in your precious name. Good morning, everybody. I want to greet everyone in the powerful and lovely name of Jesus. Indeed, it is a privilege and an honor to share God's word with you. And I pray that God's blessing will come upon you in a supernatural way. I encourage every one of you just to be open and also to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and what He is doing this morning. I would like to turn your attention to the Word of God in Agai chapter 2 and we'll read the first nine verses. Agai chapter 2 and we'll read the first nine verses. In the seventh month, on the 21st of the month, the word of the Lord came to Agai the prophet saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people saying, Who is left among you? Who saw this temple in its former glory? And how do you see it now in comparison with it? Is this not in the eyes, sorry, in your eyes as nothing? Yet now be strong, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and be strong, Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and be strong, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you, and do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once more in a little while, I will shake heaven and earth, and sea and dry land, and I will shake all nations, and they shall come to the desire of all nations, and I will fill this temple with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord, and the glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts, and in this place I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Let us bow for prayer. Loving God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, your word of power, your word of encouragement. May it touch lives and may it touch the nations of this world because I ask it in Jesus' name with much thanksgiving. Beloved, this morning, I would like to entitle my message, The Latter Temple Glory. Here we see that Agai was a minor prophet his name means festive. He was an encourager and he was also a very good pastor. He was the Lord's messenger with the Lord's message. And that is why this morning, as God's servant, I am here to encourage you because many, many people are feeling disillusioned and discouraged and may the word of God this touch you and minister unto you this beautiful Lord's Day morning. We see that Agai had four important messages and this morning as we zero in we pray that the Spirit of God will speak to you. Firstly we see that Agai called the people to rebuild the temple. Amen. Agai's prophecy speak to us today as it did to the original years. God is asking His people to build a place for His glory to dwell in. In Agar's day, a physical one, which means the former one. Today, the building is to take place in the hearts of God's people. Amen. He lives both individually and corporately as the church. 
we see that in Agai 1 and verse 8, go to the mountains and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. So beloved, as much as he called the people to build the temple of old, I'd like to believe this morning that the power of the Holy Spirit wants to build us this morning that will become strong and mighty Christians even in this last days that we're living in. Point number two, the glory of the letter temple. Now listen very carefully. God's desire to pour greater glory on and through His children so that the people of the earth will come to Jesus. In 1 Corinthians 6 and verse 19, hear God's word today. All believers, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God wants to display His glory through His people, the church. And beloved, something is going to happen to you today as you're open and sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Come to the Lord to be a person in whom His glory can dwell. God wants to live in you. God wants to take His rightful place through whom His glory can be manifested. When His glory is manifested, we'll be able to see the power of God moving in a supernatural and in a powerful way. We want to see this morning the latter day outpouring. Amen. The latter day outpouring. And beloved, this is not only for a few or a select lot of people. This is for everyone. It is recorded for us in Acts 2 verses 17 and verse 19. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Yes, beloved, there's going to be a latter day outpouring. In other words, the glory of the latter temple shall be greater than the former. Beloved, this is going to accompany something great and mighty and powerful. We are going to see signs, wonders and miracles. And I want to prophesy today and tell you this is going to be the order of the day. So I want to say, Church of God, the body of Christ, to get ready for the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And beloved, what is going to happen? Gifts are going to be released in a supernatural way. Turn with me very quickly to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 to verses 11. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit. To another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another the working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another discerning of spirits. To another different kinds of tongues. To another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things. Distributing to each one individually as he wills. Yes, beloved, this is what's going to happen in the latter temple. God is going to move 
in a supernatural and in a powerful way all i'm asking for the body of christ is to be clean and pure and sanctified so that god can work in and through you god doesn't live in a building he lives in the hearts of god's people point number 3 the blessings of obedience to walk in holiness is to walk in obedience the lord stirred up the spirit of the leaders and the people to obey him yes beloved perhaps the enemy has worked overtime but i believe that the holy spirit is going to draw god's people closer to god their obedience did not come from their own strength because at best we are weak or even their desire to change listen very carefully as you hear me this morning only living amen <coughs> comes from god's power obedience is better than sacrifice so beloved in all this something is going to happen there's going to be an obedience for the blessings of god's people so that is why i urge you this morning to be obedient to what the spirit of god is saying and revealing unto you lastly we want to look at the future blessing through promise every believer this morning faces challenges and you can see this pandemic it's a challenge for every single person where did you see people wearing masks and taking so much of precautions so we are facing challenges on a daily basis what we need to do we need to seek god's kingdom first and trust that the lord will provide your every need God's economy is different from the world's. God's ways are far above our ways. Come on, God chases, chase after God. Chase after the things of God. When we seek to satisfy our own desires first, I want to tell you we will surely be in want. But when we give our first and best to God, we will always have and abundance i like what agai 2 and verse 8 says the silver is mine and the gold is mine says the lord and i want to tell you very prophetically this morning that the silver and this gold belongs to you today you can have your heart open and god can shower you with his riches and choices and powerful blessing god is in the business of blessing his people god is in the business of blessing his uh, children because he loves us so much what you need to do this morning is to understand god's principle of giving make god's priorities your priorities give him the first of your time your talent and your treasure do not live by the world systems which tell you to look out for yourself first honor the lord and he will honor you listen i want to prophesy this morning he will bless you in your coming in he will bless you in your going out and whatever you do sir whatever you do ma'am shall prosper the ladder of the the glory of the ladder shall be greater than the former god wants to bless his church god wants to bless his people he wants to bless you a good measure pressed down shake together and running all over i'm not only talking about finances this morning all the finances is needed he's going to bless you with health he's going to bless you with strength he's going to bless you with a good relationship he's going to bless you with a good job he's going to bless you in every given area of your life so this morning i want to encourage everyone that's listening to me to be blessed and to trust god for your miracle and your breakthrough let us bow for prayer loving god and heavenly father we indeed so grateful this morning that we can bow in your presence and we can be encouraged through your word and our faith can also be shifted into a new level 
bless everyone that's listening to me. Undertake for them in a very, very special way. And I thank you again that we are in the building process of building God's kingdom. We want to thank you again that your spirit is going to be poured out on us even in a supernatural way, accompanied with signs, wonders and miracles, unspeakable. We want to thank you that even as we obey you, the blessings of God is going to overtake us and we want to thank you, Lord, your future blessings even in our lives. We want to thank you again. It is going to overtake us. We thank you for the silver and gold belongs to you and because we are in your will oh god those blessings belong to us and therefore we receive it in the name of the father son and holy spirit hallelujah thank you master maybe there's someone out there that is feeling discouraged feeling far away from the lord maybe you have run away this morning i want to encourage you and i want to tell you this day to recommit your life and dedicate your life over to the lord what the canker worm what the palmer worm what the locust has stolen from you i believe that god is going to head back to you some of you are feeling uh, so down and out some of you are feeling discouraged but today as you are listening to my voice the holy spirit is doing something special in your life yes beloved draw closer to him and he will draw closer to you father bless them bless them wherever they are touch them with the power of god so that they will be revived and drawn closer to you because we ask it in jesus mighty name with much praise and thanksgiving in our hearts amen amen Thank you so much. God bless every one of you. I love you with the love of the Lord.